Assalamu alaikum you are watching microbiology by numan in this video we will be talking about two categories of stains the first category is known as basic stains or basic dyes and the second category is known as acidic stains or acidic dyes we use different types of stains or chemicals uh, we call them stains or dyes uh, to stain to color the bacteria because bacteria are composed of around 80% of water without staining them we can't see bacterial structure and composition and morphology very easily so we use different type of chemicals we call them stains or dyes we broadly classify these stains into two categories basic stains and acidic stains first we will discuss basic stains uh, or basic dyes it composed of two part the first part is a color producing part that has a color bearing part that will color the bacteria it is known as chromophore so it's a color bearing part that will color the bacteria during staining and the second part is a charge bearing part uh, basic stains have a overall positive charge on them and we call these positive charge molecules are called cations so basic stains are positively charged stains uh, we use basic stains uh, to stain the cells to stain bacteria they are also used in simple staining procedures basic stains are very important in staining the bacterial cells because they have a positive charge on them whereas bacteria has bacterial nucleic acid and different bacterial structures have a negative charge on them so there will be attraction between positively charged stain and negatively charged bacteria both will try to come towards each other and stain the cells examples of basic stains include crystal violet methylene blue or methylene blue and the third example is a carbon fuschian carbon fuschian so basic stains are positively charged contain two part the first part is known as chromophore and the second part is a cation contain a positive charge on them so they are very easily stain the they are very easy to stain bacteria because they have a positive charge on them bacteria has overall net negative charge on them so it is very easy for us to stain the bacteria if we talk about acidic stain they are they also have two parts the first part is also a color bearing part we call it as chromophore that will color that will produce color uh, that will color the bacteria during staining procedure and the second part is a negatively charged particle this negatively charged particle is known as anion so acidic stains have a overall charge negative on them examples of acidic stains are indian ink the other example is nigrosine both of these stains are used in a procedure known as negative staining right negative staining this staining method is used to detect whether a bacteria is having a capsule or not this stain detect capsule right so if a bacteria is having capsule and we use indian ink or nigrosine stain also have a negative charge on them these stains acidic stains and bacteria also has negative charge on them so both will try to repel each other right so there will be repulsion repulsion between bacteria and stain so after negative stain if this is a bacteria after staining we see around a the bacteria there will be a clear zone of no staining procedure we call it a halo whereas all other background will be stained by these acidic stains so acidic stains are used for staining the background
in short acidic stains contain negative charge basic stains contain positive charge both of these stains contain chromophore a color producing part and the second part is acidic stains contain anion basic stain contain cations examples of basic stains are crystal violet methane blue carbon fuse stain these stains are used for staining the cells staining the bacterial cells acidic stains are used for staining the background because they have also negative charge bacteria also have negative charge so there will be repulsion between negative negative charges so it is very easy for us to use in the negative staining procedure examples of acidic stains are indian ink and nigrosine if you have any question regarding this topic you can ask in the comment section thank you for more microbiology content please like share and subscribe to my channel